Okay guys, so if you have been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know I like to do this periodically. I have this really cute laundry basket in my beauty room and I've been doing some rearranging and I noticed my basket was getting a little bit full. So I decided it was time to film this video. And if you don't know what this video is, basically I hoard makeup boxes. This is like my third or fourth video in this series. And so every so often I will get rid of all these makeup boxes that I hoard. I keep the boxes for various reasons. Mostly it's if I change my mind and I want to return something and it's within the return time frame. I do tend to hold on to the packaging just so I can return something. Um, sometimes I just keep it because, you know, it's pretty. Um, half the time I just genuinely forget about it. So there's a ton of stuff in here. I'm going to put this down. I have a garbage bag ready to be filled with stuff. So the first thing in here is the Natasha Denona Star Palette box. And I'm going to hold on to this box for a little while because I just pulled this palette out to test. I picked it up during the Sephora VIB sale, just getting to it. So it's past its return point, but I want to keep the box just in case. And here is another box that's in my video. That's another series I just started on my channel called Try and Buy. And basically it's palettes that I bought that I've never used on my eyes that have been sitting in my collection and now it's time to decide once I try it, am I going to keep it or am I going to get rid of it? So I just pulled this palette out. It's the Jouer Making Magic Ultra Foil Eyeshadow Palette. And I picked this up on the recommendation of the Fancy Face. And I used it once today actually for the first time. And it was, it was nice. I don't want to like rave about it too much because it's too soon still. Here is another newer product I picked up. This is the Luna Beauty Highlighter. It says, in the name of the moon, I'll highlight you. Shine bright with these gorgeous moon prism powders that'll leave every, that'll leave even the sun gagging for more. These powders go from bl a buildable to blinding in seconds. Shine on, my loves. Um, so this is Manny's line. I'm actually gonna keep this box because I picked this highlighter up the day I met Angelica in Minneapolis. So I'm gonna keep it just for like sentimental reasons. I know, I know, kind of a hoarder. So here is the box for the Whale Song eyeshadow palette. You guys haven't seen me talk about the eyeshadow palette yet, but I do have the box for it. So I don't know, I think I'm gonna keep this because I haven't even really mentioned it. Here's another box I'm gonna keep. This is a Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette box. Oh my god, I don't want to throw any of these away. Okay, this is the Goddess palette from Alta Ego. They sent this to me to try out and tell you guys about. And I actually really thought this was a good dupe for the Natasha Denona Gold palette. It's not exact. Some of the textures aren't exact dupes, but I still think for like 15, 16 bucks, this is a pretty kick-ass palette, but I'm not going to keep the box. Not going to keep the box for the Aha uh -huh Honey palette. I did do a video with this. I recently did a video featuring the KKW So Fire eyeshadow palette. This box is really pretty. I'm gonna hold on to it for a little while. This one I can't get rid of either. This is the Lion King Sir John Luminous Can't Wait to Be Queen eyeshadow palette. This palette is so good, you guys. I know a lot of people were talking shit about this brand because they're supposed to be like a multi-level marketing program brand but this palette you can buy at Alta and I thought it was really good and if you're a fan of the movie I think you should check it out even though Disney's trying to take all your money. So this is the box for the March Beauty Word lip set. Uh, this is her collab Samantha March did with Ofra and I really actually really 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 like the lipsticks from Ofra. The liquid lipsticks they are so so comfortable. The hype is real you guys. They are like literally feels like you're putting on cloudy marshmallowy goodness and they last really well as well so her name's on here so I'm gonna hold on to this for a while daydream daydream palette box also by alter ego I really like this brand actually I should probably keep these until I do videos on them because what if I need to reference the information on the box because the ingredients are on here and it says it's cruelty free made in the people's republic of china so I'm gonna keep that Better to make sure there's not any in here that I want to hold on to. Okay, this is the Give Me Glow Juicy Olive Palette. This is another one that has not made it 
onto my channel yet. I'm not gonna keep this box because I'm gonna keep that palette and what would I do with it? Another palette that needs to be in my try and buy series. This is the Dose of Colors X Disney Minnie Mouse palette. Have not put that on my eyes yet. Eyes yet, I'm gonna hold on to the box in case I decide to declutter it. I think somebody that will buy that from me will want it more with the um, box. So, gonna keep that. I'm wearing this palette on my eyes today. It was my first time trying it out. It is the Snow Angels palette by Dose of Colors. This is in my try and buy series. So, I will keep you guys posted on my thoughts, but so far I've used it once and I love it. Here is another palette that is in my try and buy series. This is the Suva Beauty Artisan palette. I actually created a very similar purple eye look with this palette um, when I first tried it out. So you guys will hear more about it in that series. But what I really want to do with each of these palettes is create an eyeshadow look as well. So I'm going to do like separate videos on them. I'm going to do reviews. Like it's going to be a whole thing. I'm really excited for it. So here is the box for the for the Glam Light Burger Palette. I have the Burger Palette, it's actually right up here. Um, but this is the box, it came in super duper cute. And it came like wrapped in this little bag, which I thought was really adorable. And I really like it, but I'm not gonna hold on to this packaging. I'm gonna keep the palette and get rid of the box. Here's the little insert for the Jouer Palette. Here is the Glam Light Taco Palette box. Again, this is another palette box that I don't need to keep but it's beautiful and it's gonna be great in the trash. I picked up the cover FX bronzers and blushes. These are the monochromatic blush duo. This is in the shade Spice Cinnamon. I actually did want to return these because I didn't like these as much as everyone else, but I've had them for too long, so it's too late to return them. So I'm just gonna throw away the box. I did pick up the Huda Beauty Resting Boss Face Waterproof Setting Spray and Ultra Matte Finish. This is Good. I didn't think it was that great. The smell is really strong, so you gotta be careful if you're sensitive. Here's the Ace Beauté Oceanic Palette Box. I do like this palette. I've only featured it once in my channel, so make sure you check out that video if you wanted to. This is the little box packaging for the ColourPop Blush Light Stick Set. I got it in the shade Poppy, so I got a blush and a highlighter. I think I got two blushes and a highlighter in here. I like this product, but it's not anything to die for. Anyway, I'm gonna throw the box away. Um, this is the packaging that you get when you order from Kaleidos Makeup. This is what I got when I ordered the Futurism collection, and this is really nice, sturdy box packaging. So I think I'm gonna hold on to this in case I wanna use it for something. This is my favorite perfume of all time. This is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Me and my mom have been wearing this perfume for over a decade now and I just picked up a fresh bottle to use. So I'm gonna throw away the box. Here is the box for the Deep, Luster, Deep Sea Luster Palette by Kaleidos Makeup. This was part of a bundle that they sold when they came out with the Futurism Collection. So this is a beautiful box. I'm gonna keep this. I This palette is also part of my try and buy series. So I'm gonna hold on to the box packaging. This is the Alyssa Edwards Anastasia Collab Palette. I haven't tried this palette yet. It's brand new, it's sitting in my collection. I didn't buy the Jackie Ina one because I haven't played with this one yet and I'm gonna get the Jackie Ina one during the Sephora sale that's coming up here in August. So random, they're calling it like a summer sale or something. This is another box, so the Deep Sea one came in one box and then the Futurism palettes came in this another box. So I have two of these and I'm gonna keep that as well. This is the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette box. You guys haven't seen me talk about this on my channel either, um, but I do like this palette. I've used it a few times. I like that it's a little bit smaller than her other palettes and I like that it is a nicer price point. So if you didn't wanna splurge on the Sunset palette, I would recommend checking out the Sunrise palette. This is a cool bubble wrap that Kaleidos sends their makeup in. As somebody that's fascinated by packaging, I did keep this. I wanted to show it to my husband, and I did show it to him, but I'm gonna hold on to this anyway. This is the box that the Color Festival 12-piece brush set with angled brush holder came in 
from BH Cosmetics. It's like this hot yellow color. So I kept it, but I'm gonna toss it because I do use the brushes. They're okay. I definitely fell for the packaging, which is why I bought it, but I wouldn't recommend like you running out and getting them. This is the Kaleidos Futures in One Sci-Fi Green box packaging. I'm not gonna keep this. I like those palettes a whole, whole lot. And yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the boxes though. I don't need to keep that. For the Ofra highlighter that Samantha did with them. So here on the back it says it's the March Beauty Word Highlighter. So I'm gonna keep that just for sentimental purposes. I mean, it's kind of a cool thing that Samantha got a collab with them. And so I'm proud of her and I wanna keep it around. So this is the Tarte Icy Betch palette. Does it say? Oh, it does say Icy Betch. Um, I bought this. You guys haven't seen it yet on my channel. This is the Tokyo Take Me to Tokyo sleeve from Maybe Cosmetics. I picked this up during one of their sales that they had for 4th of July. So I bought one of their palettes to try out and you guys will see that in one of my videos shortly. I don't know, eventually. <laughs> okay, here is a palette I'm gonna keep, so I'm gonna toss this box. This is the box for the Jeffree Star Blue Blood palette. Don't need that. Okay, here is the sleeve for the Exotic Peacock Pinky Rose palette. I have the box for the Sugar Crystals by Violet Voss and the It's My Pleasure palette by ColourPop. I'm gonna toss all of these. Here is the sleeve for the Zodiac Love Signs palette. I still haven't featured this palette on my channel. I think the Zodiac palettes by BH are some of their best. So if you're balling on a budget and you want some beautiful shimmer shades and some beautiful matte shades, I would highly recommend checking out this line for BH Cosmetics. Okay, I haven't talked about this palette on my channel yet either, but this is the James Charles Morphe palette. Somebody gave me this as a birthday present. And I'm not gonna keep the box, I have the palette. I'm gonna do a video with it on my channel because, I mean, I have it. I'm not gonna just like burn it because Morphe is being shady. Um, somebody gave it to me and it means a lot to me, so I'm gonna keep it. I mean, I'm gonna keep the palette, not the box. <laughs> okay, this is the box for the Glowgasm Face Palette by Charlotte Tilbury. This is a beautiful face palette and I believe you can still purchase it, so if you get a chance, pick it up. This is kind of a regret palette purchase, but I bought it anyway because of the cute packaging and I had a 20% off Ulta coupon. This is the Tarte Adelaide Maureen Eye and Cheek Palette Collab. Such a cute box packaging, but I'm not gonna keep it. This is the Natasha Denona Biba Palette box, and I really like this palette, so I'm gonna get rid of the box. Okay guys, so I'm gonna toss, this is the Dior Glow Face Palette in, is this the second one or the first one? This is the second one. This is this is Glitz 002. And I actually got this with a Sephora $100 off coupon, so I'm gonna keep that, obviously. You can't return those, just so you guys know. This is the Tantour Contour and Bronze Creme by Huda Beauty. I'm gonna hold on to that, so I'm gonna toss the box. And then I have the Mood Crayon box by Linda Hallberry. This is really nice. This is for our mood crayons, so I'm assuming this is so you can like take them with you somewhere. But I just keep them in a little pencil holder on my desk, so I don't need that packaging. And then this is one of my favorite palettes. This is the Gimme Glow Christmas Morning Palette Packaging. So cute. Literally looks like a real gift. So I don't need the box packaging though, so I'm going to toss that. Okay, here is the sleeve for the Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream Palette. I've kind of been collecting her palettes, but I don't think I'll get any more. I bought the Rustic Glam, and I thought it was okay. Definitely not a favorite of mine, and I never really featured like the berries and cream on my channel and stuff, so hopefully I'll get around to doing videos on all of that. You know, I try. And then this is the box packaging for the Riviera palette by ABH. I can't believe how many new releases ABH is coming out with these days. Like. You can really tell that they got some investors and are going more corporate just based off of all the launches they're doing, it seems like. Here is the box packaging for the Alien palette by Jeffree Star. It's actually back there, you can see it. So yeah, obviously keeping that palette, so I'm gonna toss the box. Here is the box for the Dizzy Marquez BH Cosmetics collab. I haven't even shown this palette on my channel yet. I think I did a swatch party and that was it. 
pretty disappointed in myself. I am taking a break from BH Cosmetics though because I bought way too much from them. Just because of their really good price point, I was like, oh, let me buy this, let me buy this, and it was not necessary, so I've taken a break from them. Okay, I'm gonna keep this palette packaging. This is the Pat McGrath. I think I've shown this before. I think it's just from the last time we were here. Um, so I'm gonna just leave that. Here's more of them. I keep all my Pat McGrath stuff. And I'm gonna get, actually, maybe somebody will want this. This is the Jeffree Star Equality Lipstick Bundle box packaging. It's so pretty. Maybe I should like display it on one of my shelves or something like that. I don't know yet, but I'm not gonna throw it away. Here's, oh, ColourPop, of course. Becky G Salvage Palette Packaging. I've got the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. This is actually a bomb foundation. I would totally recommend it if you have dry skin. Super nice in the winter time. This is the Through My Eyes I Love Sarai ColourPop collab packaging. You guys have probably never even seen that video on my channel because I don't think I made one. Um, and then this is the Zodiac Capricorn palette. I really like that one from BH. It's a really boring neutral palette, but if you're like an everyday human being that doesn't walk around with like neon green eyeshadows, you're probably gonna like the Capricorn palette. Same with this one. This is the KKW Classic Blossom palette packaging. This is so beautiful. I mean, it's like nothing, but it's so beautiful. So I really like that, but I'm gonna toss it because I don't need to keep it. Here's the sleeve for a pinky rose palette says Spotlight Collection. I can't remember what this palette is called, but I do have it in my makeup collection. This is the box packaging for the Caladios Futurism 3 Astro Pink. This is like my favorite one, I think, of the whole collection, the three of them. This is the Emerald CBD Oil Packaging by Herbivore. How beautiful is that packaging? So cute. I like the oil. I wouldn't say I love it, but I like it, so... I'm obviously not planning on returning it, so I'm gonna toss the box. Okay, next I have the Cyber Bronze Palette Packaging from Kaleidos as well. I really like these eyeshadows. I can't say it enough times. I really, really like these eyeshadows. So if you've been wondering about picking them up, okay, I zoomed you guys out a little because my camera battery died and I had to switch it out anyway. So hopefully I don't look like as up in your face as previously. So I have the little plastic packaging for the Huda Neon Pink Obsessions palette. I didn't love this palette, but I'm just gonna get rid of the box because I'm not planning on returning that. So we're getting low down here in my bucket of things. So I hope you guys are excited. Here is the other Zodiac palette. This is the one that originally came out. I still think this is a really good palette as well. Would love to do some kind of video showcasing it for you guys. I have filmed with it, I believe, but it's such a good affordable palette, so I'm totally down to show you guys again. I'm gonna get rid of this box, although now that I have all the shelf space, it is kind of cute, and like I could have a neon smiley face up here somewhere, you know, just looking at you guys. Is that creepy? I don't want to become one of those people though that like saves everything. We'll see, we'll see. We'll just leave it there for now. So I have the Alamar Cosmetics. This is the Reina del Caribe Eyeshadow Palette Volume 2. I picked this up because it was so hyped on YouTube. Well, the original palette was so hyped on YouTube. I tried both of these palettes out one time and I didn't really get the hype, so I was a little bit disappointed. But I'm gonna go ahead and toss this because I can't return it. I bought it off the company's website, so I didn't even bother to try and return it, but I honestly don't get the hype. But I'm also one of those people, I feel like if the majority loves it, I end up thinking that it's pretty basic, so do with that information what you will. This is the Becca, Chloe, and Malika blush bronzer and glow palette. I got this one in Malika's shade, I believe. It's okay. People ask me all the time if they should get this because I think sometimes you can find these at TJ Maxx locations. I don't necessarily think they're like Becca's best product, but I mean, if you can get it on sale, why not? This is the Laneige 
sleeping care water sleeping mask. I think this is a really good product. The only thing with Laneige is I used to buy these on the Sephora website and I found most of their products on Amazon for quite a little bit less than what they're sold on Sephora for. So if I were you, I would just buy this on Amazon if you want to try it. Oh my goodness. Karen, you're such a hoarder. Okay. I really like this palette. I don't know if I talked about this on my YouTube channel, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury Icon palette. It's so good. If you don't want overly loud eyeshadows, this is such a great like work wear, everyday, nighttime. Like it has so many sexy, beautiful shimmer shades. I would totally recommend picking this up if you are like in that 30 to 40 to 50 age category and you're a little bit more mature and grown up and sophisticated, this is a good palette for you. Okay, so here's some more. I must have just saved these from the last time I did this. These are those Pinky Rose Trio palette sleeves. So I'm gonna throw those away. This is a Sweet Nothings ColourPop palette. They launched these on Ulta, I think, exclusively. And I don't think I've ever used this one. It's actually back here somewhere, but I'm gonna throw away the packaging. Here's the other Alamar palette packaging. I don't need that. I can't throw this away because my friend Paulina's on the cover, so I'm gonna keep that. This is the Aquarius palette cover, the Pisces, all from BH, so I'm tossing those. This is some book about this dermaplaning tool I bought. I don't think it's that great, to be honest. This is the Sydney Grace eyeshadow palette. The Autumn Rain palette that came out last fall. Beautiful palette, but I'm going to toss the packaging. Okay, I have the Fenty Beauty Caramel Cutie Bronzer packaging. I like that bronzer, so I'm going to keep it. Airbrush, airbrush Flawless Finish Powder from, from Charlotte Tilbury. I really like this powder. I definitely plan on repurchasing this when I run out. It's really, really good. I bought this milk makeup set to try out some milk stick products and actually I really ended up liking this. So this is a mini mascara, mini cheek in work, and mini highlighter in turn. So those were really fun. I'm glad I bought the mini sizes because I won't get through the full size. So it was fun to try out, but I don't need more by any means. Okay, this is the sleeve from the Storybook Cosmetics uh, Mean Girls palette that I have. I kept this thinking, I don't know. I don't want it though. I'm going to toss it. It's nice, but I don't need it. Keeping this because Angelica's face is on it. Avi, come on. Um, more Pat McGrath packaging. This is the box packaging that I got my Wayne Goss brushes in. It's really cute. I feel like I could travel with the brushes in this. It's very like simple. I do have like this in like a Morphe version, but I'll just hold on to that just in case. Why not? I am gonna keep the Aladdin packaging from makeup uh, from MAC because it's beautiful and like limited edition. So here's the two boxes from the Aladdin collection. Here is the other ColourPop palette that was an Ulta exclusive. It's the Rendezvous palette. It's actually really pretty. I would like to do another video featuring that palette. I've done one. I'm gonna throw this box away. This is the Moschino. This is the, Mas the first Moschino collab that Sephora did with all the bare stuff. This was a little shopping bag box. So it's cute, but I don't need it. So it's going in the trash. Here is the little booklet that came with the Moschino Bear palette. And I am going to toss that because I don't need it. There's so much crap in here. This is the Charlotte Tilbury, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Cheek in the shade. This is their Swish and Glow blusher in the shade. I have no idea. Oh, Pillow Talk. That was when Pillow Talk was huge. I don't even think that shade shows up on me, so if you're thinking, oh, she has Pillow Talk, I can buy it and pull it off, I would not recommend. I think it's too light for me, but I bought it on Charlotte Tilbury's website, and I didn't think I could return it on her if I bought it on her website, so I didn't. 
This is the Neo Bronzer in Dusk Medium by Kevin Aquan. I really like these ombre looking products from Kevin Aquan, so I did buy that during one of the last sales. I picked up two Marc Jacobs eyeliners during the last Sephora sale. I got the shade Altec Glitters and Glitter Blitz. These are really nice and creamy. They have like a dark base with a ton of glitter, and I really like to wear these in my waterline. Super duper nice. I don't think I'll buy any more eyeliner currently because I have so, so many. And then here's another one I bought. This is Glam Jam. Super pretty. Sometimes I get paranoid that there's stuff in there still. Crazy. Here's my Moxie Lash booklet. I really like those lashes. Here's another monochromatic bronzer duo from Cover FX. This is in the shade Suntan Bronzer. Not my favorite bronzer, to be honest from the bronzers I picked up recently, but thus is life. I picked this up when it was on sale on Sephora. Surat Beauty is like a high-end makeup brand and I bought their artistic blush in the shade. This is like a peach shade. It's called Brilliant Idea. I don't know, I-D-E-E. -E. I don't know how to say that. Maybe it's French, but this is how big it is. Oh my God, but it's like a beautiful hot, coral shade so I kept it. Here's the box for the Hourglass Mascara. I picked this up in Vegas in January of this year. Used it up. Already purchased a backup. Really really like that mascara. I never used to be a high-end mascara girl and all of a sudden here we are. This is the Tarte Foundsealer Multitasking Foundation. And this has SPF 20. I bought this because I like the packaging of the foundation. It's beautiful. Um, it was nice in the winter. I don't think I dare to wear it in the summer because it's a very, it's a very like balmy consistency. So I feel like in the summer it would just melt off my face. And it's not very long wearing. So I haven't tried it for the summertime, but I really enjoyed it in the winter. So I'll go back to it when the weather gets a little bit chillier. This is the Chic to Chic in the shade. Sex on Fire. I just bought one of these to try out because so many people rave about the Charlotte Tilbury cheek formula. I didn't think it was that great. To be honest, I prefer other blushers in my collection. I also bought the shade Pillow Talk in her Matte Revolution Luminous Modern Matte Long Lasting Lipstick. I honestly don't get the hype with the shade Pillow Talk, so I won't pick up anything else. Nam Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury, but if you guys are interested, you know, maybe check it out. I also bought her eyeshadow quad in the shade Pillow Talk. This actually looks stunning on my Caucasian friends. So I'm holding on to that to use because I do have a wedding to do this summer anyway. So I thought that might be an option for the bride. And here is another plastic packaging for the Huda Press Pigment Palette. This is the Neon Orange Obsessions. So I'm going to keep that in case I decide to return it, to be honest. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Brilliant Blitz Trans Lipstick in the shade Flesh Fatale. I love all her shades that start with the word flesh. This formula is definitely not my favorite from Pat McGrath, but I loved the packaging, the gold shimmer. So I just bought one just to try out. Here is some Morphe packaging. This is the liquid lipstick in Taunt. I really like Morphe's liquid lipstick formula. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer in the shade 330. Really, really like this concealer. It's nice and full coverage, but it's not cakey at all. Okay, so we made it to the bottom of the barrel. And here I have the Lip Cheat in. This is also in Pillow Talk because I bought a set. I don't really use lip liner, so I don't know why I fell for the hype with that one. This is the mini Dose of Colors collab, and this is in the shade Bowtiful. It's a beautiful nude shade. I have the Huda Beauty Over Achiever Concealer. I thought this concealer was okay. I really, really like her foundation, so I was hoping for greatness from the concealer, but it was just okay. These are two new Urban Decay eyeliners I picked up. I picked up the Heavy Metal in Stage Dive, which is a green, and then the Gilded, uh, gi uh, sorry, and then the Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Electric Empire. They're both shimmer greens. I'm gonna hold on to these boxes. I don't think I'm gonna change my mind on those, 
but just in case, so I'm gonna keep those. So those are all the makeup boxes and packaging I've been hoarding for quite some time now. I don't know when the last time I filmed this video was, but here is the proof. I have one whole garbage bag full of makeup boxes and packaging that I am going to go ahead and recycle. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Every time I film one of these, I get a ton of comments from you guys saying you do the same thing. So I'm so happy I don't feel alone and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye guys!